else there. So for everyone in here, this has been the theme for the last five years working with everyone in here. It's been know your numbers, let's eliminate debt, let's create more cash flow, let's lower the bottom line, right? Let's recover as much cash flow as possible back into our economy. Let's be good stewards. Let's upgrade our tools. Maybe we start with a credit card, we start with a personal line of credit, then we upgrade to a home equity line of credit. Some of you have paid off your mortgages in full. Who here paid off their mortgage at least one time, but then started to leverage it? I think Tim was it was it once or so like you like you know we did we paid down and then you used it to acquire another right something to that extent. Uh, there was at one point you paid off like yes every right so right. you became debt free and then so now we're on cool so we so <laughs> so many of us in the room learned how to eliminate massive amount of debt but then became debt leverage where you're now saying okay how do I leverage this to increase the top line. Right, so that has been the theme. Now, for, for today's event, it's now the next stage. What's the next stage? What, like, what's more to life than just paying bills, paying off debt, and then having enough money left over to you know, pay your bills? Right? Like, what is the next chapter? And that's the challenge that I want everyone to, to really go and dig deep. Are you okay with digging deep today? Yes? We're in agreement with that? All right. So with that, I'm using the framework, kingdom framework, to go deep, to go into matters of eternity. Shout out to Maya Ramos, right? Shout, shout out to him. Matters of eternal, oh, there you are, right? Eternal life. What is God mandating you to do here on this planet, right? There's, there's mandates and then there's principles. Just recently learned that from uh, JT, right? We were having a conversation about that. He's like, well, there's mandates and then there's principles. There's, you know, principles is just like, if you do it, boom, here's a result. But then there's like a mandate. And who, any, any um, pastors in here or counselors, ministers, people that have, you know, dived into the word deeply, uh, JT and how do I say your name? Hep. Hep. Okay. Hep for short. And, and we're, we're new, right? We, we're, we have a new relationship, yeah? But you, you've been following me for a while. Yeah, so other than that, like everyone in here has known me for like years now, yeah? Pretty much, yeah. No, Sal? Oh, we also knew through Alex, right? And then Ryan. Yeah, yeah, brand new. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so the next, the next stage for you, Anthony, right? And as I'm talking to Anthony, I want you to process this for yourself, right? And we're going to map it out. So that, that question really is what is the next stage for your life? Going off the be, do, have mindset, okay? We talked about the highest form of wealth creation is imagination, right? What can we create? We've been created by an almighty, powerful God operates outside of space, time, and matter, and we're in time, space, matter today. As created beings, we have the ability to create, right? Reproduce ourselves, but then also just think of things like this whole entire event was in my mind for like years and then it was a year of planning and then here we are right so it's like that's that's creation right we had talked about setting targets right we need to set a particular standard as kingdom citizens if we are going to fulfill genesis 126 to 28 in our in our life that formula has nothing to do with growing in incrementally it has everything to do with, with growing exponentially. It talks about multiplication. So there is a book called Why 10X is Easier Than 2X.